Yo, what up, everybody? Guess what? It's finally here. The brand new merch, tmgpod.com. Go over there, get you some. We're doing 15% off orders over 50 bucks. Maybe get uh, you know, a sweater or a shirt or maybe all of it. Layer up. It's up to you. tmgpod.com. Now let's get in today's episode. Peace. Do you go and go or do we go on three? We go on three. Okay. One, two, three. Go. Here at Boston Dynamics, you know, a lot of people think when we set out to create these robotic dogs and these fun little videos. Uh, really, we're just getting people accustomed to the idea of the future that is to come. Mm-hmm. And so when we started Boston Dynamics, we realized that early in college, we would never be able to become uh, Chad. Okay. <laughs> okay. So our goal with Boston Dynamics and with the help of Google is that we're actually developing robo Chads. <laughs> okay, this is a counter, basically a, a counter-terrorist device Mm -hmm. to use against human natural chads okay what we call natty chads natty chads yeah gotcha okay so an anti-chad it's an anti-chad oh it is yeah oh okay okay, it's like a norton antivirus gotcha really because that's what that's what a natty chad is it's just it's just a virus yeah right (laughs) it's just a trojan horse Mm -hmm, you know sneaks into your life of course creates havoc of course of course right so Boston Dynamics, uh, our goal by 2030 mm-hmm. is that we'll have a one-to-one ratio of robo chads, robo robo anti chads, robo anti chads, yeah, right to natty chads. That's amazing. Yeah, and so our goal is to just um, mm-hmm. kill off all natty chads, and then we'll set the anti chads to self destruct. Oh, okay. So this is I, I read something about your guys's robo chad. Or the uh, Chadbotics Initiative, sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is part of the Chadbotics yes. Initiative? Okay, when yeah. I read that, I was wondering what it was. Yeah. And, and it's the Robo Anti-Chad, I see. Yeah. Okay. And once we eliminate all Natty Chads, mm-hmm. uh, the women on this earth will have no choice, no other choice. Yeah. But to turn into lesbians because <laughs> there's, not. there's there are no real men left. <laughs> no alphas left. There are no alphas left. <laughs> So now, do the anti chads, the anti robo chads, mm-hmm. robo robo anti chads? Yeah, sorry, ro- yeah. yeah, tomato tomato, right? Yeah. Do they self destruct because the women would just end up dating them if they didn't? Self-destruct? Exactly. Okay, yeah. If we, we can't we can't have because even though they're an anti chad, they're still they're still a chad. Well, yeah, it's still like the antidote to chad, so they still have to be like equally as alpha, just right the other direction. Right, and like that, they're so beta that they're alpha. Yes. Okay, I see. Yeah, and the problem is that we equip them all with dogs. Oh. So they're already set to go. Oh, okay, cool. What kind of dog? Uh, well, the you know the dog is highly customizable, but no matter Robo the dogs? size. dogs? Yeah. Ch- okay. Chad dogs. Okay. But no matter the size, you can kick the shit out of them, as you can see on our YouTube videos, that you can kick the absolute shit out of them, <laughs> and they still stand. Uh, what kind of dog, what kind of, <laughs> what breed of dog would be a Chad? Uh. Like a, it's like, it's like a, like a Doberman or Doberman, yeah, 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 probably thing. a Doberman. Yeah, mm-hmm. I always say that with a P. Doberman, D- Doberman. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what up, it's your boy Doberman. <laughs> Doberman Pincer. New tape dropping on <laughs> December nineteenth, dude. Called chilling with my dogs. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> there you go. Uh. Doberman. <laughs> Track one, who let me out the cage, dude? <laughs> who let me out? I don't know if you guys hear this or will stop, hear this. Stop, stop. I just, okay, I'll stop. No, no, no. Actually, explain gonna it now. It. Explain it. <laughs> yeah, it's like what we said last time. It sounds like you put a seashell up to your ear. It's like this blowing wind in the background. We can't fucking figure out what's causing it. Something, for some reason, something changes with our configuration every time we come in We here. don't touch it. And we don't touch it. No, it's just. Today we came in here, my, my mic just wasn't working. Yeah. And someone had turned off the fucking phantom power. You know, I won't bore you with the tech details. With the tech but details, yeah. <laughs> someone turned off my phantom power. Yeah. 48 volts, yeah. to be specific. The phantom, pa- phantom power is what you use um, uh, to to fight. You're right. <laughs> what happened? I, well, I started going into a bit, then I realized it's a bonus episode bit. <laughs> So we'll just leave it for the next bonus episode. Can we can we just apologize for all the people that did listen to the bonus episode Why? about not uh not getting the fucking Ichabod brain? Oh yeah. Shit. Yeah, we should. How? How? That was right in front yeah, of us. How? Ichabod brain. Lick my balls, Bane. 
Uh, Ichabod brain. Like my balls bane. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. I do bane too much. Oh, bane man. Too much. That, that bonus episode was fun. Yeah. That one ripped. Those are so much better than these ones. Yeah, because we don't. <laughs> I mean, why do you guys even listen to this shit? <laughs> the bonus episodes, we get to go ham. Yeah, there's no ad. Yeah, it's yeah, we just, go fucking hard as shit. Yeah, hard in the hard in the hard paint. In the paint. We talk about cum for forty minutes. <laughs> no, yeah. neck, <laughs> neck. Yeah, yeah, we're getting neck for yeah. forty minutes. Yeah, yeah. We're we're talking about Ichabod Crane giving that good neck. Yeah, so go ahead and <laughs> like, listen to the bonus. I was laughing so hard when you were like fucking, when you were like, uh, the shit about, I don't know why they call you the headless horseman, because this is fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that and more in your bonus episode. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's no, fine. I won't ruin it. Um, what? <laughs> What's going on, man? How you feeling? Uh, I've, I mean, we had a night. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, my body is just still working yeah so hard yeah to digest this fucking pasta yeah we hit john and vinny's last night and boy did we hit it yeah we really done did something we done did something mm -hmm. yeah we went in it was it was yeah my stomach is <laughs> so fucked right now yeah i woke up i just felt like uh like a pile of like waste <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it, it's good to do that every now and yeah. again though i agree yesterday was a gluttonous day for me in general why I woke up, you know, and it's been hard for me to get back, like, working out, mm -hmm. like, how I used to. Yeah. And I look at, like, videos and, like, just old pictures. Like, I had really kind of blown up. I didn't realize what that nine pounds did to me. Like, oh, yeah. I, I looked decent. Now I'm just, like, back I to, I think like, it was probably more than nine pounds. Oh, well, no, yeah. I mean, but yeah, I definitely put on, like, 15 or yeah. so. So now I'm, like, in a weird, like, kind of not there but ish. So mm -hmm. I look in the mirror and it's, like, I'm thin but, like, I still have muscle. Mm -hmm. But it's just, like. That's I, a good place. That's where you want to be. Yeah. But whatever. So I wake up yesterday morning and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to have Doritos for breakfast. And I just <laughs> opened a bag of salsa, not salsa Doritos, or what the fucking spicy nacho. Okay. And just ate that in water <laughs> at 11 a.m. Jesus Christ. And I like. Actually, I shouldn't be talking. I had a Snickers and a Twitch. Twix. <laughs> Twitch. And a Twitch. Twitch. A Twix. Jesus Christ, a Twix for breakfast yeah. this morning. That's what I had. Nice, dude. After fucking waking up feeling like ass, I, I decided yeah. the thing that would make me feel better is a candy bar. Nice, dude. Yeah, so it was, uh, th th I did that, and then I went and had Hawaiian barbecue, and then we went and. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just went in. You just went in. Yeah. You're beast. Beasted. You're, you're absolutely beasted that food. <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this sound is so funny. I just feel like we're having this conversation <laughs> on a cliff. <laughs> It's the sound of the of the air of the cliff above the beach that Cody and I are going to kill ourselves <laughs> at when we're 35 Jesus doing Christ. a podcast. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, sorry. We're just looking out on It's going to be this. Yeah. It's going to be this conversation. Yeah. Man, and we're going to have our mics out there and everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Man, it was a good run. <laughs> One last episode. It was cool. Jesus. Hey, real quick. Uh, welcome to the TMG uh, tour. Cus Boop. Thank you for calling TMG Tour customer service. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, yeah, I <clears throat> bought a ticket for uh, the tour, mm -hmm. and now I see that you posted upgraded venues and stuff, and the old shows aren't on there. So are they canceled or? That's an excellent question. Mm -hmm. uh, let me start by getting your email, <laughs> and let's log into your account okay. before I very answer this very simple question. Okay. I'll take you through nine verification steps. Okay. It's Alice. <laughs> okay. Alex. No, no, Alice. Allen, sorry. Alice. Got Alice, got it. Okay, yeah. like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> That's my daughter's favorite mm, show. Uh, cool, yeah. Okay, Alice. Dot. Uh-huh, D-O-T. Yep, what? No, just the, <laughs> the period. Okay, great, P-E-R-I-O-D. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, just the, don't spell it out, just... Just the the period. Allison don't spell it out at gmail.com. Okay, got it. Okay, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> yeah, so we didn't cancel any shows. No shows are canceled. And the uh the depot in Salt Lake City was so kind as to confuse the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> Everyone's so confused right now. This is pretty much a just a giant fucking disaster. <laughs> yeah, it, it, every, everything's on fire. Yeah. Nah. So we didn't cancel any shows. 
we're going to all the same shows. We just upgraded 10 or so stops and added a few stops. Yeah. Phoenix, that, Phoenix, and Houston, LA. and two LA shows. Yeah. So um, you're, if you bought a ticket and your venue was upgraded, it will work at the new venue. It will be honored. It I love that honored, phrase. I yeah. love that phrase. It will be honored. It will be honored. You hold up the ticket and they get down on their knees yeah. and go like this. Um, ah, um, ticket purchaser of the old. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> the elders will have you now. <laughs> I don't know. I think some Diablo 2 bullshit. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they honor you. Mm-hmm. They, they, uh, Whoa. yeah. Great honor. we are so honored to have you here tonight it's my honor it's no it's my honor (laughs) no it's my honor no it's my pleasure my pleasure oh the sound stopped the sound's gone fucking finally jesus no now it's coming back coming right back all right anyway yeah so your ticket will be honored uh some of you said my tickets are at will call I would contact the venue. I would assume they're going to be at the new venue, but you know, clearly these promoters uh, don't use the internet mm-hmm. and uh, just send shit out. Yeah. With templated emails that they made in Facebook editor. Yeah. They don't fucking. Yeah. What was with that fucking venue? <laughs> one of the venues ripped our video. Oh yeah. The uh, the one that like the culty one that we made to promote the and tour. they just like put and they just put their own like titles and shit over just <laughs> over random top. text and shit. It just. With, like, fucking Windows Movie Maker. It was crazy. <laughs> that shit's so funny. Them and, like, other... A- botched it. Yeah, other venues, like, took our flyer. And, then like, one venue thought you need to put, like, like the picture... A picture on Twitter needs to be the dimensions of the preview. <laughs> yes. So they just mushed our flyer <laughs> to make us look as tall as we actually are. That's so dope. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just, like, so bad, man. Venue social media is pretty funny. It, they're so terrible. Because <laughs> like, it's like, like, it doesn't, like, there's no real reason. Like, how many ticket sales do you really think they're driving through Twitter? Literally every single one of their t- tweets has one like. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, every single what is one. the conversion on those links? Like, I don't know. <laughs> nobody is clicking on those things. I don't know. Like, who's, who's going to, oh, yeah, I'm going to follow the fucking. The Cat's Cradle. The Cat's Cradle in Carborough to see what. What shows are like, maybe there's gonna be like five people here that are like actually I yeah no I'm thinking like I you know that actually I might do that I might follow the cart the cat's Carbro, cradle cat's cradle Carbro, nice yeah dude. we move now we're in Raleigh not yeah. in Carboro anymore we are in Raleigh so shout out that's my old stomping grounds <laughs> gang gang yo gang yo gang shout out Raleigh <laughs> dude shout out Raleigh yeah so yeah you're um. All the shows are the same, with the exception of the upgraded venues and the new shows. Mm-hmm. Some of you are asking about swapping tickets. You gotta, you gotta get in touch with the venue about all that. Mm-hmm. Um, we, uh, our hands are tied. And then a lot of you are like, "Y'all just gonna skip this city? We don't have, we don't choose. We don't choose. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> we literally don't choose. We have no control. We should just, you know, every city we drive by, pop in." Yeah. Pop in, do a show. What's up, dude? You know? <laughs> We're just here to do a fucking hot 20 <laughs> seconds. This was a diner? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Let's get up there. Let's, I mean, that's just an open Let's mic. Let's get it. This is an open mic. Yeah. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. And the tickets are on sale now by the time you're hearing this. Yeah. And So uh, the tickets for the new shows, the upgraded ones, there's more tickets and a lot of things. So check that out, tinymeattour.com. And we'll see you guys there. We're very excited. Yeah, it's going to be a fucking awesome time. I'm sorry for all the fucking confusion. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we're doing we're doing our best to yeah. keep y'all in the loop. But yeah, get you a ticket. 10 a.m. your local time, Friday. What'd you do this weekend? <laughs> Whatever we, uh, I don't even, the days are so blurred. I don't even know Why? days we didn't hang out and days we did hang out. I know, out. It's, it's been every day now. Yeah. Just we just needed, the, after the fucking album and the tour, tour. we did not see each other for Five months. You just know it's not going to happen, though. <laughs> We're going to get like maybe two weeks away from each other, and then it's I just going to be right back to it. I know, dude. I don't know. I, f- I feel like on tour, it's pretty much going to be, we'll do the show, we'll talk for a little bit after, and then we're probably just going to both go to our bunks, not say Jerk anything. Jerk off violently. Or what, is, not, what did you say? You said something. 
Yeah, suck I'm my sorry. own dick. Yeah, What's sorry. Up? I just jumped on you. Sorry, real quick. That's I fine. Just, sorry, to, didn't, didn't yeah. mean to talk over you there. What was it you were saying? You go to the yeah, bunk. fucking junk. Put my junk balls my in my mouth. Ma- What's up? My own. What's up? <laughs> junk my own dunk. <laughs> junk my own dunk sack. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. And then, you yeah, know, fucking then wake up and then off. hold our shit. Yeah. Until we get to the venue. Oh, That's, yeah, right. Someone asked, like, how are we getting around? It's going to be a bus, huh? Yeah, yeah. With five other dudes. And you can't shit on the bus. That's, like, apparently yeah. a rule. I didn't yeah. even know that. Don't shit. Don't I, shit on the bus. What I are brought, you supposed to do? I brought that up to Spock, and he goes, oh, yeah, man, that's that's rule number one. That's, like, sacrilege. Dude. You think that someone would tell you that if it's rule number one? Can't, I just don't. Like, why doesn't the bus driver just have, like, a giant lever, and he just, like, drops the shit out on the road, <laughs> on roads no one cares about? <laughs> it's just like it should just be a pull release Dude, and I'm just, picturing just fucking some suburban family like driving to go camping or some shit <laughs> <laughs> like white minivan behind just, our bus just some fucking turd <laughs> flies like a goddamn <laughs> missile <laughs> it's our windshield just <laughs> oh <laughs> everywhere we just caused so many like highway crashes yeah. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you thought you were going to get by an episode without shit. Yeah, no. Nah, no. No. No, it's it's the shit month. Yeah. November is a brown month. Mm-hmm. Yep. Turkey, Thanksgiving, it's all it's all turd thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is. so you can't shit on the bus. And then uh, shout out Jay, uh, Posters Road Manager. He, he goes, yeah, man, if you got to, you know what I'm saying, you just put a trash bag down the toilet. You got to throw up or shit, you do that. I'm like, we got a doggy bag ourselves. What? Yeah. That's crazy. That's foul. God damn. That's foul. That's, and it's like picking up your own shit, too. It's yeah. not like someone else is picking it up. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, you, that's crazy. You gotta shit. Shitting and What happens if you have to shit and puke at the same time? You gotta, like, get in, like, a gymnastic, like, U shape. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Wait, like, back, like backwards? <laughs> yeah, no. So, like, you're, like, you've got your head between your legs and, like. But, like, it's arched around backwards, right? No, no, that wouldn't make... Yeah, no. I'm thinking you put your tailbone on the toilet, right? Okay. And then, yeah. like, so your asshole is suspended and you're okay. holding the bag under and then, like, you wrap your head, <laughs> like, how you normally would suck your own dick, but you just yeah, go a gotcha. little further. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. But then what happens if you're busting at the same time? Well, you just... that's That can be cleaned up. <laughs> okay. That's an easy one. Yeah, I guess it doesn't smell. Yeah, you just wipe up your, well, ne- your neck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Yours look- probably does. Mine smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. That was gross. <laughs> Doo-doo smelling nut. <laughs> Stinky nut. <laughs> Stinky nuts. I'm I'm sure that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna just speaking of gross uh sex though, just wanna shout out everyone who shared a story of them leaving early during sex. Okay. Some of those were really funny. Oh yeah. Someone said I think it was a I think it was a girl. She said she she another girl was giving her um Horatio. Okay. <laughs> and uh she said that the girl started meowing like a cat, <laughs> like, and then put on cat ears. No way. And she just, she was like, yeah, that's it. Nope. Yeah, we're out of yeah. here. Nope. Yeah, that's it. Not having any of that. I, I, dude, I, w- I would. Go for it. I just wish we had like some device, just off the counter device. It was like an eject seat. Uh-huh. If I could just eject out of situations, that'd <laughs> yeah. be so cold. Yeah, that would be pretty fucking cold. You just straight through the roof. Yeah. You ever, you ever. This is this is a weird thing that I think about sometimes. What you ever have like the urge to Suck command Z in real life? Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You just like quick undo. Yeah, yeah. Not like a weird, but like not like a weird. I'm not talking about like a weird like click type movie. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. want to like remote where I can rewind or whatever. I have the urge to be like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have done that, and then like just undo it, and then I realize I can't do that in real life. <laughs> Like, I actually think I can do it. Like, I'm like, oh, oh quick undo. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. No, I Yeah, no, nah, I don't have that. Can't, yeah, it's pretty bad. I've not reached that level of insanity yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> fun up here, dude. <laughs> it's a good it's time. It's all the molly you're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You just, that's the first step to going nuts. You're like, oh, uh, fuck, just undo it. Yeah. Everyone's like, what? What? Just, just like, just hit undo. Quick re. Quick re. Cody, you, you stabbed him in the neck. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah, undo, just undo, and just just undo, undo, undo. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that shit we were saying yesterday. What <laughs> about the slapstick, the slapstick Power Ranger death? What was it? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we were joking yesterday about. Uh, 
<laughs> so this Power Ranger, like a while back, stabbed his roommate to death with a katana. Yeah, with a katana, and like we were speculating about how he did it. I was saying that like his roommate was like the Power Ranger dude was just like clutching his sword. Yeah, and his roommate was like, "Dog, put that shit down. Like, you're not a Power Ranger." And he's like, "Yes, I am." He's like, "No, you're not." He goes, dude, yes, I am. He's like, you can't do shit with that sword. And then we were joking that he just stands up and just like slices him in one move. And <laughs> but it, it was an accident. He was like, oh, wait. <laughs> no. The, and then because the, uh, he's he like sliced him into like pieces. Apparently that was the story. Right. I mean, he No, he just like stabbed him. Like just I hacked someone, him up. No, really? we started joking that like, like he just, <laughs> just like his sushi pieces. <laughs> yeah. He just like filleted him just like. <laughs> yeah. Just he's like, like, yeah, watch, yeah, well, watch this. I can, I can too do stuff. <laughs> and he like tries to do like the move where you like just Flip spin it. it in a three sixty whatever, and like drops it and it bounces on the floor and slices the dude in half. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> he's like, wait, bounces what? back, hits the wall, slices his like torso, <laughs> and then like his roommate opens the door and goes, hey, sorry, they didn't have hot Cheetos at Seven Eleven, but, but I did the, get Takis, and it hits, hits the, the sword, back of the sword, <laughs> the sword slices. We were all <laughs> slices his neck off. <laughs> we were also saying he just like he goes to do a move and just throws it in the air on accident and just like oh, oh. and then it perfectly goes down the dude's esophagus. <laughs> just like turns him into the sword and the stone out of flesh. Just like <laughs> No dude just hits him right here vertically and cuts him <laughs> cuts in half him vertically. In half. <laughs> Oh man! He just peels. <laughs> the roommate uh, opening the door is the best yeah. shit because you just hear him muffled behind yeah. the door. Yeah, who, who wants, wants to watch Lord of the Rings? Yeah. <laughs> and <then> bing, bing. <laughs> bing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What just happened? Because everything looks normal, and yeah. then the dude just starts to slide off his body. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. So you cool, Diet Coke? Because I accidentally got diet. Dang. <laughs> Should I got some baking soda? That shit's messy, dog. <laughs> Yo, speaking of crazy ass deaths, what was that Netflix series that just came out? Uh, oh, with John um, Hill. John Hill. Yeah. And it's called, um, yep. Emma Bunsen. Emma Bunsen. Yeah. It's called Junk Your Own Dunk, isn't it? <laughs> no. Insan- no. Uh, insane? Insanity? The S- medic? The manic. Manic? Maniac. Maniac. Yeah. Who the god? I was oh, there. Is, oh, should I just? Uh, yeah, answer it. Okay. Hey, Mazad, um, you're live. Yeah. This is our manager. Hey, Mazad, you're live on the TMG podcast. How you doing? Oh gosh, hi. <laughs> How's it going? It's, it's great. Yeah, Can we're. Just call me back later. Sure. I mean, did you have a quite? Thanks for calling into the show. Uh, <laughs> how do you? How do you feel about a uh, recent political climate? Go ahead. <laughs> Oh my God! You don't want to get me started. I'm going to take up the whole podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And on that note, <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll call you back. Have fun though. All Thank right, you. I'll talk to you guys later. Right. Bye. <clears throat> yeah, and that's just that's just kind of how that's the state of the game right now. What? You know what are we talking about? Everyone's upset. No, we were talking about uh, maniac or whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, J- Jenga Hill and yeah, yeah, right. Bang my hills. Yeah. So there's a scene, spoiler Junker alert, Hill. there's a there's a scene in there where he's like hallucinating, he's having some, Jonah Hill is having some, he, he's on a drug and him and <clears throat> Gemma are in, <laughs> Emma, Gemma, <laughs> whatever her I fuck, like this new, Gemma, yeah, they're in like a shared basically acid trip, okay, some goofy inception shit, okay, and so they're in this hotel room and there's a lot of drama, and it looks like uh, J- Jonah Hill's real life brother is about to kill him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like standing in the doorway, and then the or, yeah, he's like standing in a doorway, and then the door to the hotel room just flies open, and he gets his fucking head blown off by a shotgun. Whoa! Spoiler alert. Yeah, but it's the shot uh, is is so <laughs> cash. You just don't think it's gonna happen. Oh yeah. Like he, it just looks like a like a flat, like boring ass shot. Yeah. And then like afterwards, you're like, oh yeah, the like the practicals were all like set up, but the dude's just, just head or like it, no, it's his stomach. Ugh. Dude opens the the doorway to the hotel room and shoots out his stomach. 
And then like he's like and he like falls into a bathtub. And then the dude standing there is like, all right, let's go. But it's the craziest fucking scene. Jesus it's so Christ. fire. It's so fire. That's crazy. I wish you hadn't ruined that. Yeah, well. Because now I'm going to know. I'm going to expect it. You're, but were you watching it? You were never going to watch it. I'm that. probably going to watch it. It it's, wasn't a good show. Like next year? That was okay. Uh, it's like fun for the first two episodes. And after yeah. that, it's like, I don't, know, I don't want to do film guy stuff. Yeah. Ugh. Literally the most boring part of my personality. <clears throat> I mean, that's tough. What? You got a lot of boring parts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It is tough. Yeah, I'm pretty boring all around. Yeah. So, a boring ass guy. Boring ass guy. Yeah. I just light up on the pod. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways. We had a few things <clears throat> in the chat that were pretty solid. What's been going on, man? Did you see this? Japan cybersecurity minister says he's never used a computer. That's so tight. That's you, so fucking tight. You got a job for something <clears throat> at the highest level for something you don't fucking get <laughs> at all. Not, not even don't get. Like has never even. Yeah. Like, scratch the surface. And he's calling all the shots. <laughs> Dude, uh, he's the, in charge of cybersecurity as well as the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, and he's never used a fucking computer. He doesn't know what a USB drive is. That's, that's so cool. That's so cold. That's so cool. What the fuck does he do? He just Read said, books? He just says no. But what does he do? I'm saying, like, like, what do you do? Well, most of my life now is on a computer. <laughs> Yes, he's able to get away with like killing people and stuff because he's like one of the nine people who've never off used the, the internet. Yeah. yeah, completely off the yeah, grid. Yeah, he's completely untraceable. He's never used a cell phone. That's cold as yeah. fuck. <laughs> Damn, no data. Nobody has Zero. any data, which is kind of the ultimate cybersecurity. It is. So, yeah. Looks like everyone that, that's what I was going to say. of this guy is playing themselves. That's what I was going to say is this like some meta shit where he's like, "Yeah, I'm the head of cybersecurity because I've I've never used a computer." That's because I know back... As soon as I do? It's over. Yeah, back when computers like first started, I knew, I knew the guy who made the first computer, and I knew it was a bad idea. And I vowed to myself, I'll never use this. Yeah. He's like, I could see. I could see that it's gonna, 60 years in the future... It's going to become a shared network where everyone's transferring... Everyone's going to track. Government is going to track us. Naked Facebook, pictures. Cambridge Analytica. I called all that shit. Yeah. Nudes. The Russian hackers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Silk Robo Road. Ch Robo Chads. Robo Chads. That's a thing. All I know it. that's going to happen. Yeah, all of it. And and so that's why I never used a computer. Yeah, that's why I also have never... That's why I also uh, have never had sex, and I never will. Because <laughs> I can't reach anyone now. There's just no point. Once the Robo Chads are... <laughs> Dominating the earth. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's going to be the, the shit when the Robo Chads dominate and they don't have penises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like the ultimate fucking, that's another thing. That's a cold ass move. Just to be the <clears throat> craziest alpha male ever. No dick. And every woman wants you, but you have no dick. Yeah. Which just makes them want you more. Yeah. Like, you know, that crazy paradox. It's like. Yeah. When you can't have something, you want it. Yeah. Like that's why Robo Chad, or that's why Chads just treat women like shit, right? <laughs> Isn't that the thing? Yeah. I mean, the, yeah. It's, it's. <laughs> Getting into some territory. You see, you see, there's like there was a tweet that Kelsey showed me. It was like, it was like, uh, friend, sis, if you go back to him, you're a clown. Me. me. And then it was like a fucking gif of just crazy ass clown, like Pennywise. <laughs> <laughs> Pennywise like boobies too. Pennywise like boobies too. <laughs> Pennywise like Chad too. I feel like the Louis C.K. jacking off in a giant carnival car. <laughs> We let that one die too quickly. That was a good bit. That one was that one had some legs, man. <laughs> oh my god. He goes to Mexico cuz he can't be extradited. Oh Jesus. All right. No more. I'm still thinking the samurai sword shit. That's fucking <laughs> I'm still thinking about that shit. That's so funny to me. Slap something so dying. something so funny about a, someone clumsily slicing someone in like nine pieces. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, we're going to be right back. We have to do an ad read. Oh, do we? Yep. What? Love you. See you in a second. Hear that, everybody? That's my watch ticking. You know what time it is? Today's episode of the podcast, everyone, is sponsored by Vincero Watches. Vincero! And they are currently having the biggest site-wide sale of the year. That shit is huge! They know that the holidays can be stressful enough without having to break the bank. Smash. So they're having, uh, they're taking the hassle out of the holidays by having an epic pre-Black Friday sale 
No trolling. <laughs> No matter who you're shopping for, you can get them a luxury timepiece. They will love long after the holiday season is over. Forever. And the best part is you can get it early. Early burn. <laughs> chirp, you, chirp. you know, their mission is to create compelling luxury timepieces with impeccable craftsmanship to inspire as many people as possible to elevate their game. Elevate it. And ultimately live their legacy. Your life. All right. Vincero means I will win. You're going to win it. <laughs> it's also why every, every one of their designs is rooted in the values of bold Daring and pioneering. Pioneering. Uh, they're not a minimalist design company. No. They're tired of cookie cutter designs and mass produced minimalist watches that have flooded the market. We ain't with it. <laughs> they look great, guys. They feel great. Look at this right here. We got ours on right now. Blinging. And we're blinging. <laughs> and uh, go to VinceraWatches.com slash TMG sale or cl click the link in the description to, to uh, get some of that epic pre Black Friday sale. I can't speak, man. Get it. Get it. That was dope. We got some more? That's yeah, go it. get you a watch, man. That's it. Go get you a watch. Strap in. Yeah. These get are your dope. Get your time right. Yeah, no, it's not a watch, dude. It's a timepiece. Get your time right. And we're back. And we're back. That was that was solid. We're getting these down. We're <coughs> chopping these down. Yeah. But no, no, we need to make we need to keep them long and shitty so people still sign up for the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get good at ad reads and people are like, oh yeah, that's true. Actually, no, no, yeah. no, because then they won't get the premium content in the bonus episodes. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Such as, uh, look, you know what my goal is what to blow up and act like you don't know anybody. Uh, no, to blow down and need to be friends with everyone because my career is on the skids. <laughs> nice, yeah. yeah. I'll do the opposite. Do you see the, all the shit that happened with Riff with Riff with Riff Raff? With Whiff Waff? With Whiff Waff? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see all the shit? Uh no, tell us more, Timmy. Do you not see that shit? No. Um he fucking Yeah, he, oh no 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 the escort thing. Yeah. What was yeah. I don't know. So he like so he got like basically he's going to court. Okay. Some shit that happened in two thousand like when he was popping, two thousand eleven. Eleven, something like that. No, it was like 2013. Okay. He like, apparently, it's an escort that's accusing him and his buddy of like raping her, basically. <sighs> like stealing her money and then being like, you got to have sex with me to get him to get it back. Right. Uh. So before this, before this press release came out, he posted a video on his Instagram being like, basically accusing the, the, the lawyer that runs this brothel. It was at a brothel. Okay. Of extorting him. For a okay. million dollars cash or something like that. All right. And he was like shook, like weirdly shook, like out of character, like just straight up talking to the camera and being like, yo, this is for my family and friends and all of my fans and stuff like that. Just want to let you guys know this guy is extorting me and I've hired a private investigator and all this shit and you will not get me. You will not get my million dollars. It will not happen. I'm the Pink Panther Versace Vanshin or whatever the fuck, you know? Yeah. And then it ends. And then the next day, the press release comes out that he's being sued for like eight million bucks or something like that by this person who runs this brothel. I don't know, man. It's a messy, messy ass situation. Yo, who? Well, first of all, where are you running a brothel legally? Vegas, I think. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's like, isn't that the one like Odell Beckham Jr.? No. Like almost died at? Oh, oh bro, you confuse him for Lamar Odom? Lamar Odom, yeah. That is. Who's Odell? <laughs> oh my God! Who's Odell Beckham Jr.? Bro, we met Odell at fucking Dable Zarian's place. He's like a young oh, wide yeah. receiver. Jesus, one of the Christ. fucking Lamar Odom. That's what I meant. <laughs> Come on, Ode. They both have Ode. Ode. No. Yeah, dude. One is basketball. One is football. <laughs> Whatever, man. That is the most painful Canadian thing you've ever done. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God! Fucking sue me, all right. Lamar Odom tried to kill himself to get away from Chloe. No, he didn't. That's... He like OD'd at a brothel, didn't he? Yeah, he was married to Chloe. No, I know that, but I'm saying that that brothel is a legal brothel. Yeah, and everyone has a, had a theory that he was just trying to end it all, and Chloe fucked his life up. And then he woke up, and she was the first one in the hospital, and he was like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh I messed it up." Oh. <sighs> It's yeah. a crazy way to kill yourself. Just kill yourself via hookers and blow. He had a whole lot more in blow in his system, I'm pretty Did sure. He? Oh, yeah. He was like on some shit. Really? Some shit. Jesus. He went in. That boy How was did Chloe on. fuck his life up? Oh, she's a Kardashian? Mm. 
Speaking of which, we saw those. We bumped into those. Yeah, we brushed shoulders we, with we them. We bumped into them. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it sound like we just like bumped into them at the market. Yeah. Oh, hey, hi. Yeah. Hi, Kim. What's up? Hello. Long time. Hello. Hello to you, Kim. No, we, Hello. we was at Flogna. Yeah. And we was walking through a little um, little cutout in the crowd. Yeah, we got to go in like the fucking middle part. That was pretty where, fire. Like, yeah, every every festival I've ever been, I've ever been to, I'm like, damn, I want to be in that part. Yeah. And we finally got to go in that part. And we're walking, and I'm like, we walk by Tyler, and I was like, holy shit. Like, yeah. In my, in my mind being like, damn, I was distracted by that. And then fucking the entirety of the Kardashians walked by. Yeah, that was wild. It was crazy. Kim is a lot shorter. Is she? Small as shit. I didn't see her. I just saw Kendall. No, I, I looked at her, and then Courtney was like eye level with me. Mm. And then I didn't see Chloe because I'm too short. And then I looked up to the sky, and next to the moon was Kendall's yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. Shining bright. Uh-huh. Was oh. Kylie there? Uh, not that I saw. Mm. But then again, you know, I'm, I'm really small, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Kendall was wearing uh the like the medical mask. Yeah, because you know, every the nor- normal people carry infections. Yeah, right. They're generally poisonous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right, right. <clears throat> so you right, need right. to be careful around. Of course, yeah. But and oh, this or, part, or commoners. Uh, this part is sarcasm. Uh, but she actually was wearing the um. I hope a poor person doesn't cough on me mask. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it had like 15 layers to it. Yeah, and it was like Gucci or some shit. Yeah. No, no, it was like medical. It was just like blue medical. Like I'm, like I'm taking no risks here. There's nothing stylish about it. It was like, just don't cough on me. You ever been You ever been <clears throat> in a festival and like scared that you're inhaling like PCP or some shit? Yeah. Like I've been in the middle of a festival crowd. And there's just some weird smoke going through the air that you don't recognize yeah. the smell of. And you're like, damn, I hope I don't get contact high off yeah. fucking PCP and try to eat my own dick off. <laughs> the grossest shit. Well, let's make sure. We, <laughs> I know we're going to pivot like 25 different ways yeah. out of the Kardashian okay, shit. Yeah. So you just have to remember to come back to it. Okay, that's fine. Before yeah. the end of the podcast, yeah, which we fine. won't. Yeah, which we won't. Anyway, so I remember at Rock the Bells, I don't know how many years ago, the grossest shit I had ever seen. Mm-hmm. I saw a piece like way down. Like 30 people down. I'm okay. not exaggerating. It okay. was like 30 fucking people. Okay. A piece, see, like a pipe. Like a pipe. Okay. I'd see it like in the distance, like some guy smoking it. And it was like very distinct. It it was like one of these multicolored shitty pieces that you get like on the boardwalk yeah. at Venice. Uh-huh. It's just very specific color pattern. And I watched people passing it down and repacking it with their own weed. And it just... It was it was like a it was like a bad dream. I see this like tiny little like colored thing that's being like you know in someone's mouth in the yeah. distance, and it just starts like making its way to me, and it it gets in front of my face, and the dude's like, "You want to hit this shit?" No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. So I put Get that shit out of my face. I put my whole mouth around it. <laughs> yeah. <I> deep throated <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, you know that's what you do. Pack a little salvia inside and yeah. hand it to the next person. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It went through so. I mean, people were like, what, like wiping it with their shirt, but I'm like, that's not. But still, man, there could be some enough. shit in there that you don't want to smoke. And they're like hitting it with the lighter. What if someone's weed is fucking laced or like this? What if someone just packs a little fucking just a little? Yeah. Man, oh, right. here's a little LSD. How's that? <laughs> Have a great day. It's so good. <laughs> just. Accidentally fucking yeah. Oh here you go. Accidentally getting high on PCP. That's well, pretty funny. Does that work, do you think? Like like with the lighter on the mouth part? Do you think that really kills the germs? I don't feel like it gets hot enough to kill the germs. I think that literally is what it does. That's fire. It's <laughs> well, hot enough. I thought <clears throat> germs <clears throat> they need to be like it's like they <clears throat> can fester in heat. And okay. it's like at a certain point then they're killed off. Yeah. You know, like hundred and sixty degrees. Okay. I like the how lighter. you're using germs as like a medical term. <laughs> germs. Germ, whatever, gross shit. Yeah, I think the cooties. Yeah, I think the cooties like incubate. Yeah, yeah, I think they're under they're low heat. Yeah, they're burning temperature. I don't know. One of you doctor Their assholes. Evaporation temperature is. And one of you doctor assholes, correct me. <laughs> <clears throat> don't you think it works though? Yeah, I think it works. Because like you know, people were doing that. I don't want to make it seem like people just were just like sucking off this and like, oh yeah, let's like share. I don't. I mean, like I don't. I'm not really that concerned. Of the germs, <clears throat> like I made out with a ton of random women at bars. That uh, that would that's pretty concerning. You know what I'm saying? Like that smoking up the same pipe as someone that doesn't really. My concern is fucking. You're gonna smoke some shit you don't want to smoke. Okay. 
people are packing drugs. You're doing fucking everyone else's drugs too. That's as, true, yeah. As well as your own drugs. That's true. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's true. yeah, people are, I don't know. People do that shit at festivals, man. It's just like, yeah, someone gave me a pill. Pop. Yeah, that's no. My friend fucking one time, I knew someone that like someone, there was someone, someone had Molly or something uh -huh. in someone's place and uh, someone tested it. And it turned out to be heroin or some shit like that. It wasn't wasn't MDMA, right? Turns the drug testing kit turns black when it's MDMA. Yeah. It turned orange or some shit, which means it's opiates of some sort. Cool. And we were with this other guy. And the other guy's like, "Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna waste it." Oh. And he puts it down on the fucking thing and snorts it. Nice. Without knowing what it fucking was, dude. Sick. We watched this dude snort this fucking unknown brown powder that definitely tested positive for something that wasn't MDMA. Dude, he's about it. That's a, about that. He's about it. He really is. Yeah. He's with the shits. You know, I remember this kid, like where I grew up, he, he was some dickhead. We had like a weird mutual friend, whatever, doesn't matter. He walks in <clears throat> to in and out He's like talking loud with his, with his homies and he's like talking about how he like is training MMA and he like does hella drugs and just like classic fucking just like Trevor personality yeah <laughs> i saw on facebook like some, robo trev i saw some time later <clears throat> on facebook that he had like od'd oh like rest in peace damn but the way people wrote about it was just so like they were like yo he died, like he overdosed he died rolling just how he loved to oh and come and on I'm just like, no really <laughs> come on man. no way they're like it was like a weird, those aren't obviously one of the exact words, but it was like complimenting in a way. He died doing what he loves. It was like man. one of those. And Overdosing I was just like, on Molly. <sighs> Come on, bro. <laughs> and, or <clears throat> just plurring with his fellow humans. Just so stupid. And then like, it's just like all his Facebook pictures were him just at festivals. He died. He died in what he loved to be wearing for reboots <laughs> and beads. <laughs> So fucked, man. I mean, I don't mean, and I'm not. <laughs> nah, we're not clowning his death. No, I'm sure. not clowning his death. I'm clowning the yeah. the people. Yeah, dude, I'm so I can't glad someone actually said that. It was like, yeah, it was like along those lines, and I just like fucking. Oh man, I just <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's that's shit that makes me cringe. Yeah, it's not people like making an ass out of themselves. It's like when people like take something so serious and like just fucking are not self aware, just yeah. don't know how to talk about it. I don't know. Anyway. What were we talking about before that? Probably something depressing. No, drugs or something. Yeah, did I ever tell <laughs> the story on the podcast? I saw someone get coke blown, in, blown into their ass. No. Have I ever told that story? Let's hear it. Fucking after this show, we like went back to these people's apartment and I can't use any names or like any vague so description vague. of these people. So it just people. sounds like a lie. Yeah. Yeah, I hung out with uh, these guys and then. Uh, it's someone else, someone who isn't me. Uh, uh, put a straw in someone else's ass. ass and no, we're sitting there. And there's coke on the table, and someone's like, someone says, uh, "Yo, can you you want to blow it into my ass?" And I'm like, I'm sitting there on the couch, like, "What? <laughs> it's got to be a joke, right?" Gotta is this male or female? It was a it was a guy and a girl. So a female asking a male. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, "This has got to be a joke, right?" <laughs> I've never seen some shit like that before. I'm from fucking Calgary. There's no there's no cocaine yeah. in Calgary. Yeah. And uh, and she and the guy's like, yeah, for sure. And he's like, gets a little straw out, like cuts it, whatever. And she just fucking drops trowel right there, turns around, bends over. He puts, he dips the straw in coke, like takes some and puts it in her ass and fucking blows. And then he's like, all right, now do the same to me. No, <laughs> yeah, dude. She pulls up her pants. He turns around, drops trowel. Bends over and she blows, blows coke in a hit in the middle of the fucking living room. That's a love story. In the isn't that like Romeo and Ju Juliet, a, the modern day? Yeah, the coke version. Yeah, yeah, definitely the modern. Yeah, then they went Crazy. and got matching face tattoos after. Yeah, exactly. Fell in love. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. So, uh, what, what's her name? I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna I mean, dox these people right now. I mean, you want me to dox, or are you I'm just jo saying I'm that jo just for for science purposes? Yeah, no, no. Um, that was actually a shitty way of implying that you, that was you getting the coke up your ass. That's completely missed the mark. Bad here. joke. 
Yeah, terrible. Yeah, bad joke, but also bad receiving of the joke on my part. <laughs> no, that's that's fucking crazy. It was crazy. I mean, like, I don't know how crazy that is. I don't know. It depends what kind of circles you run in. Yeah. It's crazy for me to see that shit. Yeah. I've never seen some shit like that in my entire life. Yeah, actually, And I've been around drugs, like, a fair amount. And I've never seen anyone even come close to blowing it in each other's assholes. I don't know, man. I feel like 18-year-olds, no matter what generation, always have a one-up. Yeah. They always have probably, a one-up. yeah. It's like, dude... Tss. That's nothing, dude. You want to talk about straws and asses, dude? I had my boy shotgun ayahuasca into my dick hole. Yeah, and dude. And I tripped for nine days straight. Fucking no big deal. NBD. Yeah, it was like nothing. Bruh, my girl took a fucking bendy straw, like, out of a little sippy cup. Yeah. Had, like, three loops, dude. Yeah. Filled it all the way, all three loops with Coke. Yeah. Blew it into her ass. <laughs> That's whatever, dude. I peeled my toenails off one by one and then put LSD strips on the wounds. Oh, wow. That one got me. Oh, that's fucked up. NBD, dude. I'm still tripping from that shit. Oh, that. I feel. I felt that one. That was disgusting. <laughs> Let's rapidly move on. Let's rapidly move on. Yeah, yeah dude, dude. I lined my fucking retainer, my Invisalign. That my yeah. Fuck my parents, first of all. Took my Invisalign, lined it with LSD. Yeah. Went to sleep with it. <laughs> Then I put coke on my teeth because I grind my teeth in my sleep. Yeah. And so I'm grinding my teeth with the coke on my teeth okay. while sucking down that LSD. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How'd that feel? I don't know. I woke up a month later. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Was I mean, it's nothing sick. like what I did. No? No. With the lemons. What'd you do? Well, I let lemons soak in molly water mm. for a month. Mm. And really ferment and stuff like that. And then I fucking squirted them in my eyes. Call that one the Supreme Patty. <laughs> I rolled for... That's sick, dude. I rolled for fucking... I mean... 10 years? 10 years. Sick, dude. Yeah, I'm brain dead. That's fire. Yeah, that's fire. Dude, being brain dead is lit. Yeah. It's fucking lit. I mean, I guess that's cool. Yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> It's not as hard as me and my boys go. <laughs> what do you What do you guys do? Dog, you don't even know. Yeah, what is it? Y'all, you, you know, like you know, like nerds. Uh huh. Like the people or the nah the candy. Like the candy. Okay, yeah. Okay, imagine that, but it's all meth rocks. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Uh huh. Okay, we make like bracelets out of that shit. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh huh. That's how we get them into the festival, right? Uh huh. Then in the middle of the festival, yeah, we just take the bracelets off and just. <laughs> Eat the whole fucking bracelet, dog. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Trip hard. Yeah. Fuck everyone up at the festival. We literally fight the entire festival. <laughs> we shut down EDC last year because we were on so much PCP. We got shot up by the SWAT team <laughs> and bullets didn't hurt us because we were so <laughs> high on fucking meth that we were literally invincible. <laughs> Bulletproof skin. Yeah. That's a crazy side effect of PCP that people don't Yeah, you know, turn you turn you, into T1000 from fucking Terminator. Yeah, exactly. You can or fucking Wolverine. <laughs> you actually, it yeah. does damage you, but you heal. Yeah, you right auto away. heal. Yeah. That's that would be fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. Nine fucking bros just on PCP fighting all of EDC. <laughs> Everyone's like freaking out trying to stop them and they just can't. Uh, just walking down the whole crowd. That's like <laughs> starting from the middle out. It just starts to spread. It's like, <laughs> Uh, fucking some girl was like yo you gotta you know how Kelsey and I have been doing like fashion reviews on her channel yeah she was like we got it you gotta do one for EDC Orlando and I was like yep we definitely have to do that <laughs> imagine the outfits at EDC Orlando uh naked gator skin yep um furry nipple tassels um repurposing gas canisters as pants yep um cowboy boots on your boobs Somehow wearing like uh, parts from a school bus. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's basically like they dress like Burning Man buses because they get all the scrap metal from their dad's junkyard. Yeah, fishnet condoms. Yeah, there you go. Uh huh. Yeah, just uh, just wear like gator skin do rag. Yeah, bad neck tattooed t shirts. <laughs> it's a picture of a neck with a shitty tattoo on it there on the go. t shirt. Yeah, that's tight. That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> that's next level fucking. <laughs> That's next little fashion right there, <laughs> homie. Oh my god. What were we talking about? The Kardashians? We yeah, let's come back, come back to, the to Kardashians. It. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. No, we we brushed past them. Uh Kim is very short. Yeah. 
Like real short. Uh, surprisingly shorter than us. Yeah. Oh yeah, the funny, the fucking. This was what, what I wanted to say was. Uh, so we walked past it. It was during Kanye and uh, Kids Ghost. Kanye and yeah. Kid Cudi. They were performing. Yeah. So we walked past Tyler. He's like watching the show. Yep. And the next day, we wake up and someone had posted a video on our Kanye. Yeah. Of Tyler watching. Kanye's and Kid Cudi's set. Yep. And the video was basically like, wow, look at how much Tyler's enjoying Kanye's music, right? Yep. And then 15 seconds into the video, we walk by just, <laughs> in the video. Just walking. And it's one of the comments is like, what the fuck? Dude. And actually one of the comments was like, I can't believe those people just walked by Tyler and didn't do anything. Oh, like, yeah? He was like legit insulted that we just like walked by. I was like, what did you expect us to do? Oh, we're just going to fucking just stop him? And He's then... like enjoying a concert. It's yeah. the final song. Hi. Hi. We're, yeah. Hi. Hey, just a dude, second. Uh, hi, uh, big just fan. A, Love your work. Just a uh, picture? Hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah, there, and then there was a pretty, we got we got a lot of, strangely, a lot of recognition. Yeah, I know. It was weird. It was I couldn't believe weird. that. Yeah, I mean, I just kept, I kept hearing my name. I was like, wait, no, nah, yeah. there's no way. Yeah. There's no, it was, it was uh, one of y'all, shout out to this this dude, I shook your hand, I've been talking about it all week, uh, you you had a slimy ass hand, bro, <laughs> slimy old hand, I don't know how long you were in that crowd, but. That moist palm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think if I, definitely that was Molly sweat. You think so? I could have licked my hand and tripped <laughs> the fuck out. Just licked my hand and got horny as hell. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Everything's really nice right now. Yeah, you think that's cool? You know what me and my homies do? <laughs> what do you and your homies do? Well, we did. What we did is I, when I, we, I was a child, okay, uh, I adopted a cow, okay, and what I did is feed the cow Molly oh. for his entire life, okay. Um, you know how people like right now they feed cows hormones and stuff that make them fatter, plumper, you just or milk, whatever. I did the same thing, but with Molly, okay. I um, fed him Molly, and then I would inject. Of the, you know PCP and LSD and stuff like yeah. that until the cow was, you know, um, it's a drug cow, a drug cow, yeah, just be packed full of drugs like a okay. little drug pinata, right? Okay. And um, then when he's finally old enough, took him to the slaughterhouse. I'm sorry for all the vegans listening, and um, cooked him up filet, filet mignon. Fucking a, yeah, Molly steak, yeah, Molly steak, yeah. yeah. It'd be tight if someone just figured out a way to get cows to like, like. <laughs> Like adapt their goddamn DNA, mm-hmm. so it's just like Molly milk. Yeah, but it's like low key, and he just like somehow has this natural way of producing this shit. And just That'd drives cops crazy because <laughs> they're looking for like a lab where it's like being infused, and they have no idea. It's just like a guy on a farm, <laughs> just throwing out little Tesla, <laughs> little Tesla yeah, pieces Teslas. on the ground. So the cows. Oh, here you go, cows Betsy. Are rolling their balls off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you fucking uh, hear their bottom jaw. Uh, <laughs> uh, the cops drive by this farm one day and they see a bunch of cows with pacifiers. They're like, <laughs> "What the fuck, Molly cows?" Yeah, Molly cows. The, the fucking their hair's all dyed and shit. <laughs> They're just like pink and blue with like random areas and they got little festy bracelets and shit. Molly cows. That's what that's what, that's what that's what I am at a festival, dude. A Molly cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my just a god. Fat ass milk bag. Shit walking around like, uh, wearing cow ears for some reason. Molly cow. Dude, someone draw. If you're an artist, I would draw, draw a field, a Molly cow. Draw a field full of Molly cows. That's actually our next merch. It's just a Molly <laughs> that, cow. That's the mixtape name. Yeah, Molly, Molly cow. cow. Yeah, that's our EDM project. Uh, that would actually fit for next summer. Yeah, with one of our songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually but, would be really funny. Yeah, Molly cow. Yeah. <laughs> now you know what? That's gonna be our rebrand. What? When we try to take TMG like bigger, yeah, and Tiny Meat Gang is not like a bookable name, uh-huh. we can go Molly Cow. Yeah, Molly Cow. Yo, what up for Molly Cow? Molly Cow. No, the Molly Cows. Molly Cows. Yeah. <laughs> you're like what? Yeah, come here, Priscilla. Girls, <laughs> eat these Teslas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this, man. I like, we just need to podcast so much that we're delusional. Yeah. That everything we say 
starts to become funny. Yeah, exactly. In this little insane asylum we've crafted here. Oh, I just got this great text. Hey, Cody, this is Rick. I have more affordable quotes for your health insurance. I don't know who Rick is. It's thanks, from like Rick. A, thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Good to. Thanks so much, Rick. Appreciate you. Yo, appreciate big shout out to Rick, actually. Yeah. I'm going to give a big shout out to my homie, Rick. He's always just sending me like the most affordable health insurance quotes. It's crazy. Yeah. It's my fire. homie Rick is just insane. That dude is a beast yeah. when it comes to health insurance. He's always sending me the most affordable quotes. He be hooking me up with yeah. like all kinds of quotes. Yeah, it's crazy all the time. But not always insurance quotes, just like quotes in general. Like I hit him, I'd be like, yo, man, give me a quote. He'd be like, all right, Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. And he just hit me with a quote. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rick's Work a, harder, not smarter. Yeah. Rick's a well-rounded guy. And you're like, Rick, isn't it the other way around? No, no, He's no. He's like, no. no work not harder. in my world. Yeah. Work harder, not smarter. And you're like, damn. That's, that, why, that's why you're a fucking beast, Rick. You're always coming through with the fire quotes. Give me over some of them quotes, man. <laughs> uh, what? Did I just say Edgar Allan Poe? That just made me think of when I was 11 and I picked up Poe by like Edgar Allan Poe and yeah. I started reading that book. And no one, like my teacher did not walk by. And er, in between everyone reading fucking, I, don't, I think I was way younger. I think it was in like fourth grade. Yeah. I'm like reading Edgar Allan Poe. And then everyone around me is reading like goofy roller coaster tycoon fucking instruction like, manuals, instruction manuals okay. and, <laughs> and like weird books with like 15 point spacing. Mm-hmm. I'm reading about Edgar Allan Poe purchasing meat and living in a fucking... <laughs> furnitureless home or something it was like dark as fuck why were you doing reading this I, I was just weird like i knew fucking edgar Allan poe was like a well re- like known author so i'm like i want to read this shit and the oh. cover looked dark as fuck wow it was just him looking depressed on like a pale blue background mm. i'm like yeah this shit looks cold because <laughs> oh. <laughs> i had that nine-year-old fucking you were just a weird kid i was i'm, I'm a weird person <laughs> it didn't stop it didn't go anywhere yeah, i gotcha okay Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, anyway, I should finish that book. Edgar Allan Doe. Edgar Allan. a rapper. <laughs> Is that a real, that sounds like a SoundCloud rapper for sure. Probably. You saw Cole Bennett said a SoundCloud rap era is over. Wait, who said that? Cole Bennett. Really? He was like, yeah, it's over. What does that mean? Like he thinks like some new shit's going to happen. Like I think he's talking about like the whole like face tat. Okay. You know, crazy. Man, I, like I was listening to Blueface again this morning. Just trying to understand it, you know, because like I hate on a lot of shit, but like no matter what, I always, I always like try and keep an open mind and try and understand it. Yeah. It's just easy to make fun of shit right off the bat. Yeah. But like in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, like, let, me, let me fucking see what's going on. Yeah. I think it's the only way you can like adapt and yeah. move forward, right? Yeah. So I'm like trying to fucking get into Blueface. Like I'm just listening to his music over and over again, trying to like fucking just figure out what it is. Yeah. And I realized like it's, it's, I don't know, like it's so different that it's like. I was going to say that. I was gonna say it's it's just it's like when Waka came out. Yeah, you know Waka was like loud and you know it it didn't you know the verses weren't like these like super lyrical whatever and it's like they weren't like necessarily clever. Yeah, it's just like it sounded crazy. Yeah, and you wanted to listen to that shit because when you put it on, half the people around you were like, "What the fuck is is this?" this? Yeah, but it's like it's like Waka Flocka at that time was like he was still rapping on time, and he was still like. Yeah, the music was like somewhat digestible, maybe not, but like Blueface is so jarring because he's like, he raps on time, but I think it's like he's just he has such a like a loose swing, yeah, such like a swing to the way he raps. Yeah. I mean, that's like a, I feel like that's I'm giving him way too many, no, like, way uh, no. too much credit for the way he raps. I think he just is bad at rapping, but somehow yeah. it like makes it good. It's so jarring, and like there's so much music now that that's what we need. In order to like be like, oh, yeah. it's edgy, crazy. Well, it's like someone doing it incorrectly. Dude, we live like hip hop and just like rap in general now is so processed. It's so produced. Like not, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. When I say it's so produced, I mean it like everyone's got auto tune. Everyone's doing like the nav, like like you know, writing fucking melodic shit. That he's like the direct contrast. Yeah. So that's why he stands out. Yeah. Like we a lot of the shit we hear is pretty melodic. Yeah. And so yeah, when he's like, <laughs> okay, bitch, <laughs> welcome to the meat show. It's yeah. like, what is this? Yeah. It's dope. You know what? You know it's actually real one. Feed my family. <laughs> that's like one of his. You, you know it's like funniest lyrics. Seems like it's gonna be like I don't know. It seems like it's kind of making a comeback or like it's starting to get traction. Is 
uh, I feel like old like West Coast rap that's kind of like homage to fucking like Easy E and like yeah. like kind of like NWA shit like G Perico. I think like how was this dude's name? TC four hundred or some shit. He's like he he's like this dude I'm bringing up right now. He's been touring with Ty Dolla Sign. And then G Perico just kind of G Perico's like arresting to me because he he still has like a Jerry curl. Really? Yeah. And people like he's done interviews about it and oh. like so I don't know. Fucking Blueface is like a weird like bastard version of yeah. that. So I don't know. Maybe it's just that I feel like it's just gonna eventually gonna evolve into just freeform jazz. <laughs> yeah, where it's so like out there. Yeah, there's no one even <laughs> rapping anymore. <laughs> Rap is just gonna be just free jazz. <laughs> Or it just sounds like playing at the same time, but yeah. not in time. Not yeah. just that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, TC. Eventually, yo, this is fire. You heard this? Don't make any sense. <laughs> Don't make any sense. Not T- even a beat. TC forty eight hundred. I want to shout him out. Okay. I mean, that's music. Like, I definitely cannot relate to. Yeah. They're talking about like gang banging and like mm-hmm. really tough shit. But I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. This is hard. This is hard, dude. Yeah. This bangs. Wow, this is hard. Wow, this goes off. <laughs> This is this bang's litty, dude. Dude, this goes in my G. Yeah. My guy. My guy. <laughs> my gamer. Oh fuck, I have a cameo expiring in 15 minutes. Later. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Fuck, man. If you thought I was gonna let you get away with that. I've uh, been off cameo for a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> just need to take a take a take need, a chill. Just need me time. Yeah. But you I know what? That. I'll go that. back on right now. No, don't do it. No, yeah, yeah, I mean, do it, but then don't do one. No, no, I'm not gonna do one. But I'll get back on cameo right now. You know, I've been like investing in my in my place. Yeah, it feels good. I've never had a place where I've like actually like spent multiple months buying things and figuring things out and selling things and whatever. Yeah, my place is starting to really come together. <laughs> no, it's got looks this nice. like new desk for Kelsey over in the corner, I and then we're that. like we got a bar cart now. We got I bought like a surf rack, so my surfboards are gonna be all nice. We bought like a hanging mirror, fucking. Gonna get some art. Like, it's like, it's a process, you know? It takes fucking months. Oh, yeah. But it's like the first time in my life where I'm actually like, now I look at my place, I'm like, damn, this is a month's worth of work right here. Yeah. I mean, dude, I- And money and fucking everything, you know? I spent all day getting my desk right yesterday. Yeah, I know. That shit is so fire. (laughs) It's clean, dude. It's- You're the only person to describe a standing desk as fire. It's so clean. (laughs) Dude, this shit, so fire. I'm gonna be be sending memos and my back is gonna be- Fucking crispy, crispy while I'm doing dog, it. dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm probably not gonna really stand. You know, I told Sam what I actually like is the inverse, being able to control the, the height of my desk mm. is perfect because I feel like no desk is the perfect height. It's always some bullshit. Yeah, your chair needs to. Yeah, get, I agree. You know, so it like lets you adjust it to where it's nice. Yeah, so it's low, mm-hmm. it's clean. Mm-hmm. Monitors on arms. Yeah, no cables. Nice. By Friday, no cables on the floor. It's all gonna be tucked How? under the desk. How? See, I'm a goddamn wizard. Is there good cable management in oh, there yeah. or what? Yeah. It's got the grommet so you can run shit through it. I don't know what that is. Little hole cutouts yeah? on the top. I got to do that. I got to sell my fucking desk. If you need a desk and you're in LA. <laughs> Cody's been trying to give this shit away. I've been trying to fucking sell this. I bought this shit for like 800 bucks and I can't fucking sell it. Furniture sucks. So if you want a desk and you live in LA, I'll give it to you for like 300 bucks. <laughs> Furniture sucks, but You have to dude. fucking come pick it up and don't come to my place actually yeah i instantly regret this <laughs> so yeah never mind but uh, you can you can you know hit me up about it anyways yeah because um, i really want to get rid of this thing i need a new desk I just wanna, cables are a goddamn mess i just want to apologize if i've been like shitty this episode i feel like ass yeah right now. yeah i think that's what seen. happens when we go out the night before yeah but you know <clears throat> where are we at can we talk about last night a little bit yeah sure i mean 32 we're at the end Oh well, I gotta go in five minutes, anyways. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much we can say. Okay. I can say we were honored to, we got the honor. Yeah. To nice. We got a little, we got a little inside peek. Yeah. Into some crazy. Wait, let's not talk about. It. Yeah, <laughs> let's not talk about this. That's that's literally all I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. I was I gonna see. say we got yeah. an inside peek into a creative process that yeah. was very cool. It was cool. It, it was, was cool. It was definitely awesome. Um. All right. So. If you're list, uh, this will be. If you made it this far, uh, you've already. I'm gonna upload this early. So yeah, okay. tickets available tomorrow, 10 a.m. Yeah, that's Friday. Uh huh. Friday. Let's get the date right because we didn't get it right in the original. 16th. Yeah. Okay. 
Friday, uh -huh. the, the 16th. 16th at 10 a.m. local time. Local, locale. Local. In my defense. Local time. In my defense. Yeah. In my defense. Uh -huh. Okay. The e the email that we had received yeah. said Pacific Standard Time. Okay. It said Pacific Standard Time. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was a little bit of a muck up. Okay. Not entirely my fault. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was in my defense. Okay. So it's 10 a.m. local time. Mm-hmm. Tickets for the tour. <clears throat> we really want to see you there. Mm -hmm. We really hope to see you there. Mm -hmm. You want to do another uh, uh, customer support thing? Yeah. You can do the, be the tech support guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Thanks for calling TMG. No, that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not, no. I want you to do episode one shit right now. No, 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 not oh, today. Okay. Not, not today. today. All right. He's not feeling it. No. All right. My voice ain't there. That's fine. Bing. Thanks no for worries. calling TMG Concert Support. How can we help you? Hi, uh, this is Jake. You're calling it like a radio station? <laughs> That's great. Calling your bank. <laughs> Hi, thanks for calling Citibank. Hi, this is Noel. I'm from LA. Um, <laughs> just want to give a quick shout out. To my mom. It's her birthday. Shout out. Shout out to you. Okay, oh. well, what are you calling about? Yeah, so anyway, my checking account, it's not working. What caller am I? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what caller am I? I'm, I'm sorry? What caller am I? Did I get number five? Am I calling number five? Dude, that's a stupidly funny prank call. You call in and ask what your calling number <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, it's kind of funny. And when they say, when they just give you a number, yeah. you just start cheering. Yeah. And you freak out to like people in the room. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my mom, we won. We won. I'm caller 17. We won. It's like, sir, sir, please, please, sir, please. <laughs> all right, that's all we got. That's um, all we got, guys. Yeah. I actually want to end it uh, with a quote that Rick just sent me, actually. What's, what's Rick got to say? He said, You can lead a cow to water, just make sure it's Molly water. Got it. Nice, man. Thank you, Rick, for Shout that out quote. Rick. Shout out to Rick. He's a quote, man. <laughs> um, Appreciate y'all. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Gang, gang, peace, peace. Gang, peace, bang.